this is a hang glider and hang gliders are pretty much just this metal structure like this tubing and then you have this plastic bit over the top and they're not really supposed to produce that much lift it's just supposed to glide down slowly so for this i plotted the vorticity magnitude with streamlines and i'm pretty curious to see how this wingtip vortex forms because as i said it's not producing producing much lift and there's also a very small uh, platform area called here the length of this area here is quite small so there's not that much lift and you can see there's a little bit of a roll up here and a little bit of vorticity occurring over the entire wing plotted the streamlines at the wing tip and you can see there's a little bit of curvature to them like they're spiraling a little bit which indicates that there is some lift being produced this hang glider is installed at three degrees angle of attack so not that high and lost the vorticity so you can see if there is actually a like definitely technically not a vortex because you need to compute the circulation on the computer arterion and whatever but um, you can see there is some vorticity occurring so there is a, probably a vortex here because it's a wingtip but it's not that strong and a good way of in seeing how much lift is being produced other than looking at the the pressures and then the velocities you can see uh, how much the streamlines on the pressure side so the underside diverge, so go off to the wingtip side and how much the streamlines on the suction side, so the top side, go towards the middle. And the reason why this is indicative is because the more lift that you produce, generally speaking, the stronger the wingtip vortex will be. And this results in flow going from underneath to over the top. So if there is a lot of divergence underneath of these streamlines, it indicates that there is quite a bit of flow going from underneath to the top which means that you are producing a lot more lift because there's a big pressure differential which induces this migration of flow. So this video, I plotted some streamlines over about halfway on the wing and you can see there is some velocity increasing, but there's not a, a huge acceleration there. But as you go back to the, just about here, you can see that there is, there is a little bit of divergence of these streamlines uh, towards the wing tip and then on top, there's this convergence, so there's going towards the middle. So there is a little bit of lift being produced, but not that much. And it's to be expected, it's just a, a very thin sheet effectively. All right, so our International Aerodynamics Conference is on. Check it out, link in the description. Hope to see you there.